Now, whenever you're doing vector questions, I would always recommend that you draw a sketch. And here I've drawn a sketch showing the origin, and I've taken i and j to be to the right and upwards respectively. I've shown where the boat is at 12 o'clock. It's at 3i minus 4j, or I've just expressed it as a coordinate. And at 14.30 the boat is at the coordinate 811, or it has a position vector of 8i plus 11j. So, which way is the boat moving? Well, it's moving, obviously, in this direction through those two points, like this, OK? So it's moving up through here. And in part A, we've got to work out the velocity of the boat. Now, to work out velocity, you need to work out the change in position. So, first of all, at time t equals naught, the boat Ha was in this position, it had this position vector, and I've signified it as r for position vector with a little zero there for when t is naught. It's at 3i minus 4j. And then two and a half hours later, it was obviously up here as we're told, so there's that position vector. I've Again, used R for the position vector and put a little subscript 2.5 here for two and a half hours later. And it's equal to 8i plus 11j. So the change in position is given by going down here and adding this vector up here. Minus this vector plus this vector gives the vector from here to here. So the velocity vector v is equal to the change in position, so that will be r 2.5, that vector, minus r at 0, divided by the time taken. And if we work that out, okay, we've got the r at 2.5, which is 8i plus 11j. Then we have minus, let's put that in brackets if you like, minus r at 0, so that is 3i minus 4j. And the time it took to change that position was 2.5 hours, so 2.5. So working that out, you find that the top comes to 8i minus 3i, which is 5i. And then we have 11j minus minus 4j, which is 15j. Don't forget to underline your vectors there, all divided by 2.5. And dividing each of those vectors, i and j, by 2.5 gives a final result of 2i plus 6j. And that's the velocity vector then of the boat b. And we can illustrate this vector quite easily on the diagram. Because if I draw it on, the velocity of b is 2i plus 6j, two units across this way, six units up. It's going to take me roughly from about here to here. So in one hour, the boat would have moved from here to this point here. After two hours, it would have gone from here to the end of the arrow, about there. And after two and a half hours, it's going to move from here by half the amount of this arrow. So you can see, hopefully, roughly about right anyway on this sketch. OK, so just take you back again. So after one hour, it will go to here. Two hours, it will be about here. And then two and a half hours later... Well, you can see where three hours later it'll be up here. So two and a half hours, about there. OK, so that uh, I'll just move that to the side there for the moment. That brings us then to the part, end of part A. Now in part B, we're being asked to find the position vector, which I'm going to call R, T hours after the boat left this point here, T hours after noon. And we're told that this is the vector b. 
Now how am I going to find B? Well let's just remind you basically again that when we had the velocity vector here, okay, let's just move it back to there. Say one hour afternoon the boat would have been at this point here. It would have had this position vector across here which would have been down here plus one lot of this vector. That would have taken me to there. Two hours afternoon it would have been from about here to about there. That would have been down here plus two lots of this velocity vector and so on. So in general, okay, if I just move that back to there, if I'm looking for the position vector of the boat B T hours afternoon, it's going to be equal to the original position RO okay, plus T lots of the velocity vector V or VB. This in fact is a rearrangement of this equation where instead of having R 2.5 this is R at T hours after the initial position. Anyway, filling this in now we therefore have that the vector B okay, is equal to the initial position vector which is 3i minus 4j 3i minus 4j plus t lots of the velocity vector which is 2i plus 6j 2i plus 6j now we could leave that as the answer but an alternative is just to group up the i components together that would be 3 plus 2t in the i direction 3 plus 2t in the i direction. As I say, you don't have to do this, but you must probably find that this is useful for later parts in the question. And then when it comes to um, bringing together the j components, what we have is 6t in the j direction minus 4. So we can have that plus 6t minus 4 in the j direction. And that brings us to the end now of part b.